What's the difference between wood ticks and deer ticks? It's important to know because deer ticks can spread Lyme disease, while wood ticks don't. I would say it's pretty easy to tell them apart, but males and females look different in both species, so let's break it down. Wood ticks, or dog ticks, are more common. If you get bit by a tick in the U.S., it's most likely a wood tick. Wood ticks are a lot bigger and have brown legs. Males are an even mix of brown and tan speckles, while females are brown with a tan front. While they don't spread Lyme disease, they can spread yellow fever and some other diseases, and they can leave behind a red, itchy mark. Deer ticks are way smaller and have black legs. Males are all dark on top and gray on bottom, while females are two-toned and have black in front and orange in back. Oh, by the way, the ticks that can spread that meat allergy are called Lone Star ticks. Females have the iconic white spot, while males have a few white stripes. Ticks look a lot different when they're full of blood, though. So how do you tell the difference then? I'd look at size. Now, this is all relative. It depends on how old the tick is. But a full wood tick is about the size of a thumbnail, while a full deer tick is maybe half that size. So if you see a full tick and go, whoa, that's a big boy. It's probably a wood tick. Now, baby ticks are a whole different ballgame, because in both species, they're really small with complex patterns. These guys are barely visible, and that's what makes them so dangerous. If you get bit by a baby deer tick, you might not even know it. They don't all carry Lyme, but if you do get bit, monitor the area for symptoms and see a doctor if you notice something. Telling the difference between baby deer and wood ticks is beyond the scope of this video, but there are some fantastic references on Google Images. The good news is ticks usually take about a full day to actually latch on and suck blood, so you got plenty Plenty of time to pick them off if you feel something crawling on you. So what animal and nature stuff do you want to see next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments. Ah, stop that.